Welcome back to Grassroots Media. Welcome back to this week's edition of the Sand Meat Market Kyle Donahue Show, where we cover everything on the court with the Chucky Doak Lady Black Knights basketball team. As always, I'm joined here with Lady Black Knights head coach Kyle Donahue. Coach, how are we doing this week? Doing great. Welcome back in. Finally able to come back in. Yeah, it feels like forever. Snow's melted. More importantly, the ice is melted. Mm-hmm. Finally get back to playing games, feeling a sense of normalcy again after right. last week. How hectic was that for you? Uh, it was pretty hectic, you know, spending days on the phone uh, trying to figure out what, what's going to happen and where we're going to go and what we're going to do. But can we practice? Can we not practice? Talking to a lot of people about what do the roads look like and everything. It's You know, it's always we want to keep safety in mind. We also don't want to get too far behind and – so there's that balance, but um, you know we we did a good job of it, and we're out of it now. Mm-hmm. How stressful was it not being able to practice and scheduling practices, and maybe it getting canceled because you think maybe Wednesday or Thursday it's going to all end, and then Friday it snows again. Yeah, it it was kind of stressful. I mean, you know, obviously the uh, safety of our kids is most important, so we wanted to take precaution. There was one day that we had practice, and and the more I got out, and the more I saw everything, we we. Ended up canceling. I think that was a bigger snow day. One of those days, I can't remember. They all run together now. Yeah. Um, but you know, it it worked out and and we got through it. And uh, the good thing is everybody had to do it. It wasn't just mm-hmm. us, so it wasn't a disadvantage. Um, but definitely affected us um, moving moving into the week. But I think we're over it and and moving forward. Glad to be back though. Glad to be Some back. Some schools. Like Johnson County, as ladies yesterday, still weren't in school. I think they were on a two-hour delay today, today as of Thursday. I know. So they're back in school. On Wednesday, Johnson County was out, and Carter County was on a two-hour delay. Yeah. So thankfully, West, or thankfully, Green County has been in school every day this week. Yes, I think thank goodness. Just a delay one day this let's week. Just, yeah, let's get these kids some education around here. Let's get some ball games played, yeah. too. We've got really? a lot of schedule changes to talk about, too. Sure. We'll leave that towards the latter half. Sure. Let's talk about the games that you have had in the last okay. two weeks since we've sat down. Luckily, they've all been recent. You mm-hmm. haven't had one as far as two weeks ago that we have to think back and talk about. You yeah. just had the one since Saturday where you played South Green on the road, played West Green here at home, and then played Happy Valley here at home on Tuesday also. Take me through those three games, all three conference games, all three important. Yeah, so at South Green, obviously, they're they're tough to play, like we've talked about before. Um, they're, they're really tough to play in their gym. Um, you know, being able to see them – also, them being able to see us in the ladies' classic, they they came out with a little bit of aggression and, and a little bit of fire about them, and, and we like to call that passion. Um, and they came out uh, hunting us, and that was something that kind of put us off on our on our heels a little bit. Um, you know, we had a lot of unforced turnovers and things that we didn't need, and and they kind of blitzed us to start with. I thought um, they played really well. Um, we played with a lot of energy and a lot of passion. We just didn't play super smart at times um, and didn't take care of the ball, didn't value the ball. And that's one of our tenets that we talk about. We've got to value the ball. You know, if there's one ball and the only thing that scores is that ball. Um, and it wasn't really one person. It was multiple people over and over. And and that's, that. you know, that, that'll that hurt you. Um, so that's that was South Green. They played really well that night. West Green, um, you know, between the first quarter and the second quarter, um, it was kind of a – a flip of the switch, you know, we were up, I think, six, and then they came out in the second quarter, and, and we kind of backed up a little bit, um, and and it was like a 15-point turnaround. They went back up nine, uh, and then we were digging out the rest of the game. I thought we played really hard. I thought we played really aggressive. Other than that second quarter, I thought um, it was going our way. Um, just that second quarter um, was, was our doom. Um, and then Happy Valley, we got – to get everybody in uh, some minutes, and and we kind of um, platooned it that night, and we were very aggressive. Uh, we kind of changed up our style with with each group, and it was something that played to their advantage within the group, um, and and we played really well. Um, I think almost everybody got in the scoring column, and and it was a good night and a good conference win at home. How important was that win against Happy Valley? Because that night was a pivotal night for the conference as a whole, because all six teams ended up playing one mm-hmm. another. You played Happy Valley, West Green played at Johnson County, and then South Green played at Hampton. And it was a very crazy night with South Green losing to Hampton, you beating Happy Valley, and Johnson County beating West Green. That brought you and West Green back to a tie for third place, and then Hampton and South Green are now tied for first place. Would you say that was kind of a much-needed win in that moment after the loss to West Green? Turn I would. Win? Yeah, it was a. It was a. Every win's a must-needed win, but that was a good win to get us back on the right track. Um, having lost two in three days, um, we wanted to keep keep pace. 
Um, you know, the tournament's coming up, and obviously we've got to be able to, to get a great seed to move, to move on. Uh, you can top four, move on to Coach Broyles called me. you got your own show, Coach. Top four, move on to regional, so you want to be in those top four as you as you progress through the tournament. Um, you know, I, so I can't remember who I was talking to, but they've said a lot of weird things have happened in this couple weeks, week and a half since we've been back. Um, and that's, you know, that's, I would say it's true just by the way we've, we've reacted and we've, we've come back. But um, hopefully we've righted the ship and, and we'll continue on. As of right now on Thursday, it's Hampton and South Green tied for first. Well, I guess, te- yeah, they split. So they're tied for first, both at four and four. You and West Green are tied for third, even though you've played six games and they played four games. Both of you have a 500 winning percentage, and I think Johnson County has one win at fifth, and then Happy Valley is sitting back at sixth right now. There's still a lot of basketball left to be played. Yeah. You've got four games left. Some schools like, I think, Happy Valley and West Green have as much as six games left on their schedule. Still a lot left to be played. <laughs> a lot of things to talk about in the second yeah. half also with the schedule changes due to snow, ice, and everything in between. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and get that in the latter half. So we'll go ahead and cut to a commercial break. Be right back and see you in just a second here on Grassroots Media. Pizza, pancakes, or donuts? The Davy Crockett Travel Center in Baileyton has the cure for all your cravings. While you're there, shop our general store for souvenirs, gifts, and cellular accessories. In a hurry, grab a cold drink and a hot dog to go. Check us out on Facebook and come to Baileyton. Sand Meat Market, your ultimate meat destination. Step into Sand Meat Market for a curated selection of steaks, lamb, goat, and other quality foods. Each cut is meticulously crafted to exceed your expectations, promising a dining experience like no other. Elevate your dining experience and visit Sand Meat Market today. Indulge in the exceptional quality and taste that only Sand Meat Market can provide. Join us on this culinary journey and savor the difference. Welcome back to Grassroots Media. Welcome back to this week's edition of the Sand Meat Market. Kyle Donahue Show, where we cover everything on the hardwood with the Chucky Doak Lady Black Knights basketball team. As always, I'm sitting here with Chucky Doak head coach Kyle Donahue. So, let's talk about the schedule changes. Yeah. You didn't have to change much. Well, you did in the latter week, yeah. but luckily we've gotten to talk about a few of those games. Right. South Green game got moved. The West Green game got moved. Happy Valley was originally scheduled. You got to play it. I think the only game that we might have to talk about is the Hampton reschedule. Mm-hmm. Is that correct? Yep, we're playing them uh, February fifth. I think we've rescheduled for them. Um, so that was so we got to find some landing place for Cherokee. Uh, that was we're playing them as well at that day. So we got to find a landing place. But other than that, we've we've pretty much scheduled. We're, we've been good. Uh, we've had county teams. We haven't mm-hmm. had to. Other than Hampton, uh, we haven't had the Carter County teams or Johnson County that other teams have had, like uh, West Green. They're having to deal with that now. So we've we've been on the good end. So hopefully it, it works out. Luckily, you got to schedule some of those games before we got to sit down for this interview because a lot of other shows I've done this week, we've had to talk about three or four games. Yeah. Luckily, you've already got to play yours, yeah. so we got to talk about them. Let's talk about the two that you've got coming up, cool. though. You've got Johnson County and you've got West Green, both on the road. You've got to make that dreaded trip up to Johnson County, and then you've got to travel on the road and go down the 11 to West Green. Yeah. Talk about both those games and what you expect. Yeah, obviously Johnson County is a far trip. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things that you don't really look forward to doing. Never. Uh, but you've got to do it. Um, with them being a conference game, it, it's a great advantage for them. Um, I think the closest game to them is, what, Hampton maybe? Yeah. Um, so it's it's going to be mental as well as physical. You got to you got to come ready to play. There's no JV girls game, so we got to come ready to play uh, from the onset. Um, obviously, here it was a five point game. Uh, they had a chance to tie. I thought when we played them here, we we didn't play our best game. Um, there was different points uh, where we rose and fought, uh, fell uh, throughout the game. Uh, so we need a consistent effort and consistently um, from from top to bottom, consistent effort the whole game. Um, you know, I feel good about our chances, and I feel good about where we sit as a team. Um, we just have to bring the energy. You know, anytime you're on the road, you've got to bring your energy. And um, like I've said before, uh, defense has to travel. You know, a lot of times offensively, you you may not shoot well uh, when you go play a new gym. You may not play well, uh, but your defense always has to travel, and, and that's what we're going to be looking forward to um, that night. And we've been working on that uh, yesterday and. 
and today before uh, before we go up there on Friday. Uh, West Green, obviously, there's we've got a day to practice for them as well. Uh, they're a good team. Like we've, uh, I think I told you all after the game, uh, they're a good team. Um, they play really well. I think Shipley and, and Brown play really well uh, together. Um, so we got to find a way to stop those two. I think there was four people that scored in that game. Um, and it's, that, that'll that be our task. How do we stop those four? Um, you know, I, I think we'll be ready to play. Um, but, again, West Green's a tough place to play. And it's, it's kind of a packed gym. It feels like the gym's on top of you. Um, but uh, hopefully our girls are ready to go. Finally back to normal. Got the back snow out of the way. Got the ice out of the way. I don't back think to Fridays and Tuesdays. Yes. I don't think we're supposed to face any other weather. Knock on wood. I've heard. Hey, now, listen. I've heard Speaking that there's knock weather. Speaking of knocking on wood. knocking on the door now. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> uh, meat Market. Go check Shout out Sam out. Meat Market. Free 8-ounce shirt, steak. Then a $100 purchase. Uh, that lasts only through next week. One thirty-one. You want to get in there. I, I can't wait to see what they got in February. So the next time we out. sit down. We get to talk about a new deal. There we go. New deal. Awesome. College football real quick. Hadn't sat down. Last time we sat down, we were talking about the Alabama vacancy. Mike Norville stays. Stays. And you got a new quarterback we had talked about. Got a new about. quarterback, yep. DJ Uyungle. I was going to ask you, you to pronounce Thank it, you. so you've already yeah, got it down there pat. There we go. I think that's all we've you got. Know, obviously, throughout the year, you're going to have new additions. They've got, I think, the all-Samoan team now. They've <laughs> brought some people over. But uh, college football, now you – they, I was talking to our, our uh, maybe our Nike rep yesterday, um, and they talked about, you know, college football. The loyalty may not be in the coaches, it may not be in the players, it may be in the stands. We're loyal to our teams, uh, and that may be what what goes on in the future. Who knows? Um, with all this turnover and NIL stuff, yeah. it's it's getting crazy. We need a commissioner, Nick Saban, Commissioner Saban. And now Michigan's got a head coach. And now seat. Michigan. And so. now you're going to start to see the transfer. Transfer Hopefully, Florida State goes and open poaches Open up a little bit yeah. more. But just, for them, yeah, just yeah. for them. A lot of those players are probably going to go pro, though. We'll see. Don't know who takes the Michigan job. Probably their OC. Yeah. That's one of those that probably. you really haven't heard a lot of hub up about. Because probably. they're probably going to go in-house. Go Knowles. Harbaugh saw the writing on the wall. Yep. Sure Coach, is. that's all we've got. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you all for sitting down and watching this week's edition of the Sand Meat Market Kyle Donahue Show. Once again, we'll see you all next week here on Grassroots Media. Go Black Knights.